We ask you that we respect each other and do not talk one over one another. Each candidate will be given the opportunity to speak and rebuild or clarify their answers. You all will have two minutes each to answer the questions. You do not have to use the entire two minutes to answer the question. However, you are not allowed to exceed two minutes. The timer will begin as soon as I call your name to answer the question. Once your time is up, we will move on to the next question Thank you. or candidate. No low blows, personal jabs, and appropriate language will be allowed. Does anyone have any questions before we begin? Huh? <laughs> All right, bet. Starting when I have to use the entire two minutes to answer the question. However, you are not allowed to Starting exceed with two Isabella. minutes. The timer will begin as soon as I call if your name to answer the question. What's your time? If elected, how do you plan to work with the administration to build a positive and productive campus culture? So my plan is to work with the administration is that I want to create or after school with my community to make sure that we both be friends on the way to school, such as events. And I also want to maintain a team relationship with them by um, maybe visiting the office once in a while to make sure they are updated and what's okay. going on with the school. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, who else? Who would like to go? You would like to? Oh, is all of us answering the question? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, could you repeat the question? All right, I got you. Oh. If elected, how do you plan to work with administration to build a positive and productive campus culture? Um, the way that I'm planning on you know, implementing a good communication between admin and you know, me if I would be the president is um, just a similar holding, holding meetings. Uh, I also want to try to get more you know, suggestions from the class, from you know, all the different classes, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, um, seniors, to be able to see what they want us to discuss with the admin and try to solve the problems that they have with the admin themselves to create a better communication between not only us as student council, but the student body and you know, just every, the, all of high school. Um, I want to not only hold the meetings to be able to discuss that, but I also want to create committees under student council that will be in charge of certain aspects. So not only will I be able to discuss, but I will also encourage the you know the committees to also to, the, the, sorry, the committees to also discuss it with um, the admin. Um, would you like to go, Gabby? Uh, yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> if elected, how do you plan to work with administration to build a positive and productive campus culture? Um, Culture, I would like to like do surveys for students because there's a lot of tension between administration and students. Uh, conducting these surveys will allow me to know what I have to talk about with the administration and uh, to keep a positive culture around the administration as well as to meet with them. Uh, I plan to do this by, you know, obviously trying to get more personal with the students and so it's like I want to actually be able to discuss with them. So I want to try to create representatives for the student body. However, if this um, if this is obviously too complicated, we can always do things like you know submit um, submit surveys and such. However, I do know that whenever it comes to surveys, only the students are very they don't feel too encouraged to submit these surveys. So I think, in my opinion, it would be better to have, you know, a representative. But honestly, anything works out. As long as you have any concerns, just I would please advise you to let anybody in the student, uh, student council know. And we can obviously have a discussion about it, and then I can have a discussion with that. All right. So. As a representative of the student body, how do you plan to make sure that your students' concerns are being heard? Like Baby said, I think it's a good idea to have representatives, but I would have one for probably each grade, one for freshmen. 
sophomores, juniors, and seniors, because I feel like um, I think we're pretty disconnected with underclassmen, and I feel like we feel the same way as well. And I kind of want to create um, a bigger barrier between us um, by it becoming more accessible for underclassmen to also share their opinions, because I feel like um, we don't hear as much from them as we do from juniors or seniors. Um, even though this is my senior year, um, I do want to bring positive change into this school. Right? And, um, maybe create further traditions in the school where we meet. Um, but like Daisy said, the representatives is still a very good idea because it will be one specific person that each grade will be assigned to in order to receive any type of feedback. I mean, they can report to us, either me or Evelyn, if we were to be elected. Um, and then we will take it to our administration as well. Nice. Gabby? Yes, ma'am. As, as a representative of the student body, how do you plan to make sure that your students' concerns are being heard? I plan to make these uh, concerns heard or like leaving projects like boxes where people can put papers of their concerns in the boxes. Yeah. Probably near the restroom because everyone goes to the restroom nowadays. And then I would take the concerns and go down and hold them and report the ones that are important to the administration. Mm. Would any candidate like to rebuttal or clarify their original answer? Mm, I would also like to add that um, I feel that personally students aren't always capable of giving their answers to if we would have an assigned representative. So I feel that it is also a good idea to create um, forms for those that really don't want to speak to anyone at the moment. Um, just so that they also have a safe place in saying their opinion and this can be a lot of their story and some of their name as well. Alright. Anyone else? That is all. Alright. So my third question. If elected, what changes do you plan on making? How would these changes benefit your students? The whole school? Uh, I want to change like the dress code for hoodies because it's cold outside, we can get sick, and then sickness could spread around the school. And I think that hoodies should be allowed to keep ourselves warm through December and through the other cold holidays. And I also want to change the restrooms because there's no soap dispensers, and that leads to bacteria on hands. People don't want to be next to you trying to get the soap dispenser. Some of the things don't work too, so we should probably get that fixed as well. And I also want to change the tension between administration and students. Hell yeah. Because it's it's really big. Like since last year, since all the walkouts happened, people have been like really tense around administration, like you tense up and we don't want to be like that around our adults that we're supposed to be relying on. Thank you. Um just as Gabby said, I feel like um, the previous year was very um, sudden and change. And I think that we also haven't had time to process how drastic that change was. And I think we really need to implement some of the stuff that we had last year with a new administration, um, such as the dress code. Um, I used to wear college t-shirts almost every day instead of my uniform because I thought it was a good way to represent my future and what I want to do. And I also think dress code, like whenever we have free dress, I really don't think it's necessary to have such strict policies such as ripped jeans. I think we're really behind that and I feel like most schools have already updated their dress code policies and there really isn't any restrictions anymore. Um, I really want to bring um, more school spirit because even though we're such a small school I feel like we can carry big high school traditions I've noticed that um, big high schools have um, very large um, events and I feel like just because if we're a small school I don't think that means we shouldn't do them um, such as with spirit I think we all need to I think we should attend more events um, such as with the underrepresented sports that we have here in Luna um, and something that I would also like to do is create maybe a social media page for Scholar Council specifically in order um, for students to be updated in um, further events that we're creating 
and they can also leave feedback there. Um, yeah. All right, thank you. Um, <laughs> there is three main changes that I want to address that you know that have been listed out on flyers on me and Rosary's flyers. It's I want to be able to have well you know more college campus trips and additionally to that more communication between underclassmen and RTCC. I want there to be a better communication between the merit system and a better communication between the merit system and I also want to implement more fundraisers for the sports community. The first one which is that being um, college campus visits. I do, I remember in middle school there was a lot of college campus visits. Uh, we would go visit UNT, SMU and all these different places but once I entered high school the, there was just such a lack of this and I think because you know Luna is very you know very pushes forward this message that they want kids to go to, uh, to go to college they want them to be able to look through all these different options but the issue with that is is they can only see that they can only see it through the internet and I think we need to close that gap through RTCC and have them you know like actually take these kids out to these college campuses out in Texas and give them more, make them feel like they have more options than just a job or you know community college. I want them to be able to branch out of, out of their comfort zone. And when it comes to the merit system of it, you know, because I talked about the fundraisers, I think right now there's not that much support for the sports community. And you know, I think especially when it comes to the equipment that they have. And I've heard a lot of complaints that they want to, you know, get better equipment, get better, you know, just everything in general. So I think being able to hold more personal fundraisers through student council will allow, like, you know, these kids to actually be able to get better fundraisers and make more money than, um, like, you know, how we normally do. We can add it on top of what we normally do to, you know, make the college campus better. And how Isabella said, create a more, you know, a more powerful Luna spirit. And lastly, and please, uh, may I please speak louder? Okay. Why should we elect you as our student body president, uh, Isabella? Oh, me first? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel that I've been wanting to become a student body president because throughout my entire years of high school, I don't think I've ever once participated in anything this big. Um, I feel like... Um, I deserve, well, not that I deserve it, but I want to leave a mark in the school and I want to leave a further lasting tradition um, for the grades that will be seniors next year and the ones after that and the ones after that. And I just think, um, I don't think I've ever really done anything like this. This is way out of my comfort zone, but I'm glad that I've done this. Um, and I feel like I could bring really positive change to this school, um, receiving people's feedback talking to administration, changing many of the rules that we have here in place, knowing that many of the underclassmen, juniors, seniors, don't enjoy them. Daisy, would you like to Yeah. Um, I, you know, for me, I've never really branched out of my comfort zone. I have always, you know, stayed to myself and everything. So when I started participating in, you know, becoming student council president, it was this really big step for me. And I feel like, me personally, I can bring a lot more to, a lot more order to this school that a lot of people believe that we are lacking. I think that, like, I have, I'm very, you know, organized, I'm very orderly, I have, you know, I have a lot of, I guess you could say, I have a lot of passion for this school, and seeing a lot of people not want to support it because of certain, um, of certain setbacks that the school has or flaws, I want to be able to, you know, make, be the bridge that stops that. I want to be able to let these kids love the school for what it is rather than pay attention to all the flaws and I think I also I also want to support all of everybody in high school I want to be able to talk for everybody and I just want to be the representative for all of high school okay. Thank you. Is that all? Uh, would you like to go? Yes. Yeah.
Uh, you should vote for me because your voice matters. And I remember being the quiet kid that no one listened to. And y'all probably don't know me since I've been here. And voting for me will mean that change will come. I won't let what happened last year trigger. I won't let <laughs> that happened last year. That happened last year trigger more people because I remember like seeing my friends scared behind the doors, boarded up doors, seeing the guns, seeing all the videos on Instagram, seeing all the TikToks. I don't want that to happen again and for the cops to come. <laughs> so please vote for me and vote for change. Yes. Alright, thank you now. Um, and that concludes our Oh, do we have to like say now, Joe? Do we just okay. stop in the stream? Yeah, we did. Okay, so yeah, it's important.